I am Nicole Brown, and I teach in the sociology department in SOLA. Uh, generally speaking, I teach courses related to gender, race, uh, social movements, and uh, survey courses like Introduction to Sociology, uh, which is the course I'll focus on today. Um, as a general practice, I apply a Black feminist uh, pedagogy that centers democratizing knowledge claims. And what this looks like in the classroom is encouraging students to see themselves as knowledge producers, uh, to connect their personal experience uh, with the course material, and to honor the communities and knowledges uh, that they bring with them into the classroom. Now, under normal circumstances, talking about topics like race, gender, family, religion uh, can be challenging for students and, and for faculty for that matter. So one challenge during COVID was how to nurture that vulnerability and intimacy uh, required for these types of conversations, but to do that in an online environment. So one approach was to design the podcast assignments. The uh, podcasts were framed around a shared uh, purpose of creating an instrumental tool uh, that would be used to assist future students uh, in their journeying through the learning process. You can also look at it that the concept of race is kind of a societal construct and how there is more of us that is similar than there is that is different. And race and racism is just a divisive societal issue that only exists because people create it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. And yeah. then you could you could say a similar thing for ethnicity also. Like say if somebody um the podcast served uh, to integrate the democratizing of knowledge claims as part of that black feminist pedagogy, uh, while also taking advantage of the options that the online modality uh, provided. And to help the students feel more comfortable and, and competent in their ability to carry a 20 to 25 minute conversation uh, on that topic, I assigned podcast prep, um, which was labor based. And uh, what that means is I identified all the tasks that I thought were necessary in order for the students to be prepared to have this conversation. Uh, the day of the podcast, we discussed the topic. Uh, I recorded the conversation on Zoom. I used iMovie to edit the audio, you know, add the intro and the outro, and we had a podcast. It, it was really rewarding for the students um, and my, myself. Um, they reported that the podcast was informative, uh, that it was entertaining, and they really enjoyed it. Um, there was a great deal of satisfaction in knowing that by contributing to this podcast, uh, not only were they developing and, and articulating their own knowledge and, and learning about and, and through the discipline of sociology, uh, but they were also producing content that would help other students learn. Um, the, the students always impress me, but their, their openness to share and help one another, like these are the types of interactions I think really need to be amplified. One of the things that I strive to do uh, in my work is remove barriers uh, to entry. And um, having all of our classes online meant that sometimes turning on that screen, you know, to stare at another face uh, became a barrier to overcome. So stripping the podcast down to just the audio, you know, allowed the students to be present in a different way, uh, to engage one sense rather than, you know, manage a barrage of senses at, at once. Um, it allowed them to be mobile. I encouraged them to move their bodies, you know, if they wanted. Um, but it, essentially it untethered them from uh, their computer screen. And um, uh, this was a way for students uh, with the aid of technology uh, to, to claim and reclaim, to, to expand and, and share their knowledges. Uh, so in a way, I'm really grateful that this modality provided an environment in which to experiment. So when we have the tools and we have the will, you know, to, to innovate, uh, and we were willing to show up and try, uh, but we chase the curiosity, as I tell my students, um, you know, to understand the things around us, I really feel like we win and our learning communities win. Mm -hmm.